guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and today I'm coming at you guys with a video about a really good summer zero waste recipe, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If you guys didn't know, for the month of July, Madison and I have pledged to go zero waste, which means that we will not be consuming any sort of like packaging, whether it's associated with food or clothes or toiletries or anything like that we're going to do everything we can to create no waste this month and that does include recycling so even things that can be recycled are considered waste although recycling is acceptable but preferably we would like to have not even recycling because that's not the most eco-friendly thing you can do but in my last video where I showed you the haul of all the food that I got and how I got it to be zero waste I asked you guys to guess what I would be using all those ingredients for and this is it drum roll please we're making now, I really like this recipe because it can be served hot or cold, which means that it's really great for picnics, and that's something that Madison and I have been enjoying a lot lately, is going on picnics. So, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and hop into this recipe. Alrighty guys, so I did want to start off by saying that all of the ingredients that I will be using today I got from Ingredients in Austin, Texas. They were nice enough to give me a gift card to go shopping there and get this zero waste meal. First thing I did was put some garlic cloves, basil, and pine nuts into my food processor. This is going to be how we make a basil pesto for our pasta today. I added a little bit of oil as well and then I set that to the side. I then chopped up the rest of the ingredients I'm going to need, which includes mushrooms, some zucchini, and that's going to be for something later on down the road. But for now, we're also going to heat up some oil before we start chopping up the next ingredients, which is our tomatoes. So these are actually some of the best tomatoes I've ever had from ingredients. Um, they were really wonderful in the pasta and for other things that I use them for. So once they're chopped up, I just added them to the little bit of oil that we got started. This is going to be to get them to break down a little bit more so that we can get that pasta-like consistency for the pasta that we're making today. And by the way, the pasta that we're going to make can be used hot or cold. I went ahead and used mine hot, but you can refrigerate it, and I know a lot of people like stuff that way. So after your tomatoes have broken down a little bit like you saw there, you go ahead and take that basil pesto and put it in with the tomatoes. This is going to get our pasta base started. Then I went ahead and put my pasta into my boiling water. You guys are probably pretty familiar with that. And I used some of the pasta water to create a more saucy consistency with the tomatoes and the basil pesto. And then you just mix that all together until it breaks down into the consistency you want. I really don't have exact cook times or exact measurements, but I'll go ahead and do my best to leave that in the description box below. Then I just went ahead and mixed that with the pasta once it was done boiling, and that's really all there is to the pasta part of this. I went ahead and added some other ingredients like we talked about earlier with the mushrooms and the zucchini because I really feel like that helps beef up this recipe. All I did was saute that with a little bit of olive oil until it was broken down. And then I went ahead and took some of that mixture, maybe about half, into my food processor and just blended that up to make like a spread for the baguette that we got earlier to make that like a side. As you can see here, I just took that mixture and put it on the baguette. And then I took the pasta and went ahead and plated it, if you will. I put it in a mason jar because I felt like that was the best way to go about it. After I put all the pasta in, I put a little bit of red chili pepper flakes right before I added the mushroom and zucchini on top. So this is my final zero waste recipe. Make sure you're following me on Instagram to catch more of these as the month goes on. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you click around and find some more of my eco-friendly and zero waste videos. And remember, until next time, create the peace.